I think I just constructed the ideal AI designing agent, completely free to use, that can build fully functional UI and UX apps that are absolutely beautiful. This is thanks to Firecrawl's new branding format feature. Firecrawl can now extract complete brand DNA from the, any sort of website in a single API call or through their playground, including color schemes, logos, frameworks, and much more. It's perfect for coding agents that allows them to clone or match existing site aesthetics so that you can use it within their playground completely for free or through the API to get the UI that you're looking for. Once you collect these aesthetics, you can then use a tool like Google's fully free build mode within Google's AI Studio to construct the front end based off of the aesthetic that we had scraped via Firecrawl. And then there's Gemini 3.0 an incredible model that's powering the build mode and with its remarkable front-end and agentic coding capabilities, Gemini can take assets retrieved from Firecrawl and turn them into fully functional, beautiful apps. For example, just take a look at this minimalistic framer demo of a website and you can see that it is really aesthetically pleasing. I can simply go ahead and copy the URL, head over to the Firecrawl playground and what I can do is within the playground, I can now select the new branding feature. And from here, we can paste in the website URL and then we can have it start scraping all the context a part of this website. So this is where it can scrape the markdown, the branding, as well as scraping it through JSON. And you can see that it was able to retrieve the themes as well as the main color, the fonts, as well as the typography. And what you can now do is you can copy this as a JSON file. Then I can take the JSON file containing the UI formatting and aesthetic data and send it directly to Gemini's build mode. From there, it autonomously generates the entire front end code. And this is completely free in under two minutes. It handles the layout component patterns and adapts everything to the brand and content that was scraped using Firecrawl. And this is the key part. Without Firecrawl, you can't simply get the results you're looking for because Firecrawl makes sure that it extracts the overall aesthetic and layout properly so that the AI model, like in this case, Gemini can thoroughly follow through with the design. And just like that, based off of the prompt that contains the JSON format of the aesthetic that we got from Firecrawl, we were able to replicate this beautiful design of this website. And you can see that it was able to mimic that same sort of aesthetic that we saw from that Framer website. And this is the capability of combining these two together. You're going to be able to develop some pretty great looking applications, some beautiful front ends that would probably take you days to actually code out. In this case, it was able to do this within less than two minutes and you have all the code that you can then access and export locally. This is the capability of what we're going to be showing with this combination. So with that thought, let's dive straight into it. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Also, quick shout out to Firecrawl for sponsoring today's video. But to get started, I'll leave all these links in the description below. You will need to have a Firecrawl account and a Google account so that you can use the build mode. Now, first things first, you can easily go ahead and sign up with an account with Firecrawl with the Google account or GitHub or your email address. And once you do so, you're gonna be then sent over to the main dashboard. From here, if you're looking to scrape different sorts of websites, crawl, map it out, or use any sort of capability like their agent mode, you can do so from here. But what we can do is head over to the playground. And this is where we simply can just provide any sort of URL that we wanna scrape and we can either get a markdown format extracted, you can get the links extracted, the HTML code, which is really cool, the screenshots, or even just simply branding what we're looking for, because this is something that we're gonna be looking for for our build mode agent to help us design any sort of aesthetic that we're looking to code out. Also, another FI is that if you wanna extract multiple formats, you can select all of them as well, which will obviously use up more tokens, but just keep that in mind. You can also edit the option of what sort of format that you're looking to extract in terms of the JSON format. So for example, say if I want to build out any sort of aesthetic AI course website, like in this case, if I want to uh, mimic this aesthetic of OpenAI's Academy, I can simply go ahead and copy the URL of this website 
and then I can head over back into Firecrawl. And from here, we can paste in the URL, select the formats that we want to extract, and then we can start scraping right away. And remember, it, you don't need to necessarily use this directly within the playground. You have the ability to use it with an API that will showcase how you can set this up. But now you will be able to see that it is going to be able to extract the HTML code as well as the screenshots, the branding, which we had selected, and a JSON file. What makes this interesting is that this isn't just scraping HTML or pulling colors at random. It is Firecrawl's way of extracting structured brand blueprints. And this is where it is going to be able to capture the site design system, like the color palettes, the typography, the spacing rules, and the component styles, which you can all copy in JSON format. And due to this, you can then use a coding agent like the build mode so that you are going to be able to replicate that same sort of aesthetic for your own site. This is where you're going to be able to get the return clean machine readable branding format from Firecrawl so that you can easily code out beautiful websites like we saw from the initial example. This is the Gemini Designer, which is where you're going to be able to get the ability to reconstruct the aesthetic website that you're looking to build or any sort of app accurately. So now that we have copied the contents in JSON format, like the branding, we can then head over to Google's AI Studio. And from here, we can then go ahead and paste in the JSON format. This is the prompt that usually works best for me, but you can obviously adjust it for your own preference. Essentially, I'm not trying to copy whatever I saw. I'm trying to mimic it and try to make it better. I want to use the same aesthetic that OpenAI is using for this Academy website, and I want to replicate it with my own app. And this is where we can then paste in the JSON source and then send in our prompt where it is going to use the Gemini 3 Pro to fully execute and build out all the components that we're looking for. Now, this will take a couple of seconds, but you can see that it will then work on deciphering the source that we had provided as well as our prompt where it will then plan using the thinking mode and then it's going to code out all of the components. This is, in my opinion, the best Gemini designer tool that you can use with this combination to fully build full on applications that are aesthetically pleasing as well. And just like that, we have a full on AI world academy that was fully generated based off of the scrape contents that we had extracted. And you can see that it did a great job in mimicking the same open AI academy website. And this is thanks to the overall scraping capability of Firecrawl plus the building capability of the Gemini models within the build mode. And this combination makes it the best designing tool that is fully free to access. And what's nice is that it was able to even code out all the functionality of a course website. So this is where I have the ability to watch videos and learn new things about different topics. This was done in under two minutes and you have all the code now readily available. So think about it. We went from just providing a URL and just simply pasting in that prompt with the JSON format of the different source, like the typography, the fonts, and the aesthetic. And from there, we were able to build out a full-on application that is aesthetically pleasing. Now, this is just one example. You can do so much more. You can build out other components. Like if I want, I can generate something like an AI-powered quiz generator. So a part of this course, I can simply head over to this course. I can click on AI quiz and within a couple of seconds i'm going to be able to access it and this is where i can answer questions on off of the website and this is just something that it created in the same manner you have a community hub that was fully generated so this is a forum where you can chat you can also add in a news feed these are just small little features that were fully coded out based off of my system prompts that were sent in but this is just one way for you to leverage the capability of the Gemini model with Firecrawl's capability of extracting brand aesthetics to build out full on applications that are aesthetically pleasing. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But this combination is something that gives AI a real design system 
And with having Gemini on your side as well, you can turn it into actual code completely for free, especially with the build mode. I'll leave these links there so that you can easily get started as well as the system prompt. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.